Shalom, this is Nathan Yala from the Holland Camp. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Kakudash, double honor to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, the teacher, who well among many other things. Grand peace of salutations to the elect that are scattered abroad in the four winds of earth, out there in the highways, head just in person, truth and sincerity. Shalom. All right, so, <clears throat> you know, scriptures, I told you so. You know, and a lot of our people don't want to take heed, they don't want to listen, right? And we're very close to this uh, man's, you know, this beast, these beasts, all right, these subtile ser uh, serpents for their kingdom to end, man, okay? Now, I came across this article, it was a couple of days ago, and um, it was just a, a random a video, I believe it was, it was Facebook, and... Um, this this man Jake, he was talking about warning people about the the fifty cent. There was a one cent burger from the Wendy's, and the fifty cent burgers not to eat them, right? Because I mean, if you think about it, how the hell can you uh, serve millions of people, right? Because that's what's going to happen. Millions of people are going to eat these burgers in America, man. I don't know if this deal is in um in the Netherlands, but I know it's uh in America, okay. How can you be able to sell burgers that cheap? You know, so there's a lot of things that are going on behind the closed doors. You know, besides this fact that they are selling these cheap burgers. Now it says here in the article. Cheeseburger Day 2023, 50 cent double cheeseburgers at McDonald's, deals at Burger King, Wendy's, right? <coughs> so something is really going on, man. Okay. McDonald's customs can get a double cheeseburger for 50 cent on Monday, September the 18th, 2023, for National Cheeseburger Day. The offer is available in McDonald's app. Now... These people are grinding up different type of meat, could be human meat as well, okay, into these burgers and having people eat these things, okay. Um, you know, there was a, a video on The Simpsons about uh, this crusty burger, right, and this crusty burger, uh, I'm not going to play the video because, you know, I'm going to get flagged. The crusty burger, they had the cow, they would eat the grass, and they would... Uh, they would um, um, mince up that cow and then feed that cow to other cows and then have people eat these cheap burgers, you know. And uh, at the end of the video, they ended up, the guy, the reporter, ate the burger. He turned into a zombie and ate um, a bit bit off uh, Krusty's uh, elbow and Krusty turned into a, a, a zombie, all right. So something's going on. They're, they're definitely putting something in the food. Okay. You know, there was, uh, uh, what was it called? Popeyes or something like that. And they had these special burgers and stuff. And Jake was going crazy over them, man. They was stabbing each other over it. I don't know if they were just shooting, but they were definitely stabbing each other over this damn bur uh, ch uh, chicken burger. All right. So a lot of things is going on. And people don't realize the things that these people are fucking doing, man. All right. But the scriptures also talk about this as well, which we're going to get into. It says, Monday are well, uh, Mondays are well, Mondays, but this one is a little special. It's National Cheeseburger Day. Okay, so you may not be familiar with the holiday, but there are some things to celebrate today. So they're making this a holiday. Okay. It really is, it's an unholy day. Monday, September the 18th, most, mostly in the form of discount, discounted burgers. Major chains such as McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King, and Dairy Queen are offering special deals and discounts today. Here are some of the best we found. So, uh, Burger King isn't stopping with just one day of deals. Instead... The restaurant chain is offering a week of deals 
According to the DailyMeal.com, on September the 18th, customers who join the free Royal Perks reward, Rewards Club can get a free uh, cheeseburger with the purchase of any other item value at $1 or more. Additional daily deals, including things such as Whopper Jr., uh, Whopper Onion Rings, and Family Bundles, uh, will be available in the app throughout the week. Dairy Queen... Uh, Dairy Queen uh, is offering a free original cheeseburger if you spend one dollar or more on any item. And this, you got to understand that we are in a very serious recession times. We are in some very serious recession times. Okay, America is in a crazy amount of debt. Um, you have uh, uh, here very soon. You know Saudi Arabia and these different countries, which is going to equal to a 40% of the world's population, joining the BRICS, uh, which they're going to drop the dollar. And yet they're doing this. The offer the offer is available on the Dairy Queen app, or is uh, or is in person at. Uh, participating locations one offer per customer all right so you could read McDonald's way back burger okay so on and so on you see the one cent more blah 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 <coughs> so there's definitely something going on man all right definitely something going on man okay um Especially in the times that we're in right now, you know. Uh, this is um. Let me see, sixteen. We start on verse. Um, yeah. So this is Second Ezra chapter sixteen, verse eighteen, right? And let me jump over here really quick because this. These are the times that we're in, man. We're not a time of, you know. Uh, um, rejoicing because food is becoming cheaper. You know, we were not in a time of, uh, of of having a holiday because of some burgers made cheap. You know, the food is becoming more expensive. That is for sure. But how how is it that stores are selling food that are much more expensive nowadays, and then all of a sudden this corporation, which is controlled by Amalek, these uh, so-called Jewish people, which, which ish is a suffix. Like if I were to call you childish, it doesn't mean you're a child, but you're acting like one, right? These actors, these apost, uh, these uh, apo uh, fakers. Okay. These people that that run this company are far greedier than anything else. All of a sudden. Now want to come with burgers that much? When we in it, we when we are in the time that this earth is not seen before, we in the beginning stages of that man. To be in some serious recession times, inflation is already hitting, right? But you you uh, Jake's out there, you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, you about to get caught off guard for real, man. But y'all probably over there in these parking lots right now, bumping your music and shit, thinking you this is living, man, while you're smoking your shit, drinking, right? Being a bunch of fucking niggas that you are, man. You know, and excuse my language, but it is what it is, man. All right? So this is Matthew chapter 24, verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, right? Because that's what's going on right now. We in the time of war, okay? Main rumor is World War Three. All right, see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So, we are not to be troubled about the things that we see going on. For us that are in the know, for us that truly believe in the Heavenly Father Yahweh, which is the Heavenly Father's name and the Son's name Yahweh Shai, who they also even call Jesus, we should not be troubled at all. We should actually rejoice. All right, because we're at the end of it all, man. The scriptures say, "Is is a better thing to be in the, uh, the in the, in the, 
at the end of, of, of a thing than the, than the beginning, right? Because we have served our time, man. We have served our bondage. We have served hard bondage, man. Okay? And it's time for things to change, man. You know, it's been so long that this earth has not been fruitful with the righteous works thereof, man. This whole earth has been mourning, right? The animals suffer. The, the land suffer. The, the, the vegetations, the, the ocean, the, 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 the life within it. You know, in the heavens, the skies, right? The things that, that fly are suffering as well. You know, and it's it's a it's a time for things to change, man. That this earth rejoice in the righteousness righteousness that the heavenly Father is going to bring, man. It, it 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 doesn't matter about how you feel and how things are supposed to be according to your ways. It's about to be the way of the heavenly Father. And see, a lot of our people don't understand how the heavenly Father works, and the heavenly Father knows you better than you know yourself. So, the Lord said. In Ezekiel, uh, I believe, uh, 36, verse 11. Could be mistaken, but the Lord said he's going to do better than he has uh, done at the beginning. So we're about to be hooked up, man. All right. So we were, we were living beautiful back in those days, too. We was living good, man. Okay, but the Heavenly Father is about to do better than that. I see, Jake, they always think that they know better. The creator of all, man, the, 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 the spirit, the, the father of all spirits, okay, he's about to hook us up, be able to enjoy the fruits, the works uh, with our own hand, you know, the, 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 the fruits that we labor for, our children being safe, right, we don't have to worry about them going off anywhere. I mean, and literally anywhere, right? You know, even for you heathens out there in the world, you so-called uh, white people. No, 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 no. So like that, that, that is a wrong thing. No, you gonna worry. Uh, but I'm, but I'm talking about after they serve their bondage. You know, when that thousand years is up, these other heathens, you so-called Arabs, <clears throat> so-called real Africans, right? You so-called <coughs> Chinese and Japanese, uh, um, Japhetic, right? So-called Japhetic. No, not so-called, but Japhetic, yeah, because they also say it in the world too. Um, you other nations, man, you're going to rejoice, man, because you're going to be getting your lands back. You're going you're gonna to live in righteousness too. Why? Because you're going to do the ways of the Heavenly Father as well. Or you're going to be punished. Okay. So going back into the point, right? It says right here, um, for all these things must come to pass. All these prophecies need to come to pass in order for the end to come. But the end is not yet, right? Because it says right here, for nations shall rise against nations, meaning racial tensions. People are going to be fighting each other. It's just not going to be one race against another, right? They're going to be pockets. People are going to be fighting against each other, all right? There's a lot of division going on right now, okay? so-called uh, blacks against so-called white people, right? You have the LGBTQ, right, uh, against uh, uh, real people, <laughs> so-called real people, right? So-called normal people, okay, and so on and so on. Um, There's a lot of division, and, and also within the family as well, okay? Which, uh, that goes into Matthews uh, 10 and 34. The Lord said he's not going to come to send peace on earth, man, but a sword. Right? So there's going to be division, man, which is already going on right now. And kingdom against kingdom, you know? For example, America against Russia. That's, that's a war that is to come. All right? And there shall be famines, which is already going on right now, and, pre uh, and pestilences, right, which is deadly viruses, newly created viruses, and earthquakes, right? There's, a, there's an app for earthquakes because there's so many of them going on. Not too long ago, what happened with Morocco? You know, thousand thousand people, more than thousand, I believe, died from that earthquake, <coughs> right? And uh, in diverse in diverse places, so you know, places that normally don't have earthquakes. That's been going on, right? All these are the beginning of sorrows. So we are in the beginning of sorrows, right? Now going into Second Ezra chapter sixteen, verse what was it? 
at 16 verse 18 and it reads the beginning wait verse 17 woe is me woe is me who will deliver me in those days and that's that's how these people are going to be because people right now are actually feeling like they're, they're living a really good life man not realizing the dangers that are coming and when that day comes this is the spirit of, of this world, how they're going to be. Why? Because they have no faith. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, you're going to get caught out there. And the thing is, you never have faith in the Lord. And when you come back looking for those men that have been preaching His word, they're not going to be found. And guess what? What are you going to rely on then? Right? The strength of your own hand? You're going to see how bad it's going to be. Okay? You're going to see how bad it's going to be, man. Even within your own home, there's going to be enemies being established. Okay? The beginning of sorrows and great mornings, right? Because there's going to be a whole system being shut down. Right? This whole infrastructure is already crumbling. The beginning of famines and great death. Right? Because people are going to be dying from starvation, from the sword, which is a modern day weapon. Right, the pestilences, which are these deadly viruses, the beginning of wars, right? Because we in a we in a time of war. All right, the war of Armageddon is being brewed up, man. Is being established right now. Okay. And the powers shall stand in fear, and these these powers that are th what it's talking about is these so-called elites, because they know that they only have but a short time to rule this earth. The Heavenly Father's coming to take it back. And you devils ain't going to do shit about it. And you know it. You're going to try to take as many people you want with them, with you. But that's, that's all a part of what the Heavenly Father wants. Okay? You are the sword of the Heavenly Father. He has a plan. He controls everything. Every aspect. There's nothing you can do about it. Not anybody. No, no one can do fight against this truth before this truth. So whatever you try to do is the only thing that you're going to do is just accomplish that which the Heavenly Father wants. All right, so it says right here, the beginning of evils, right? Because Eve meaning time, ill meaning bad, bad times. We're in the beginning of bad times. What shall I do when these evils shall come? <coughs> right? And the thing is, you should be coming to the Heavenly Father, man. Not putting them off day to day, man. Okay? That's what you should be doing. Before all these things that are going to happen. Behold, famine and the plague, tribulation, anguish are sent as scourges for a moment. But for all these things, they shall not turn from the wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Because our people don't consider the words of the Heavenly Father. They just think it's catastrophes, you know, things that are that are happening, they don't realize it's from the Heavenly Father. You know, these storms, these these floods that are destroying people, man. They think it's just it's just a, a natural disaster. This is a disaster that the Heavenly Father has made happen. They're not mindful of those things. Now this is the point right here concerning that article I just read. Behold, victuals shall be so good, cheap upon the earth, right? Which victuals talks about is 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 food. If you go into the word victuals, it's talking about food. Behold, victuals shall be so good, cheap upon the earth, upon earth, right? Them cheeseburgers, y'all probably over there snacking on them, not knowing what the hell they put in them. That shit ain't food, man. You know. That they shall think themselves to be in a good case. And that's how our people are, man. You give these niggas a pack of cigarettes, a pack of Newports, and a 40 ounce. And they think they did the top shit. Top shot us, you know. Shot collar. Right? Bug the hell out. Out here in the corner, some murmuring to themselves and shit. Right? Talking that big shit, right? Not realizing that... It's, as it says here, and even then shall evil grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. And that's exactly what's going on right now, man. 
See, Esau is causing great confusion out there to try to get y'all to think that everything is just fine. He out there think, trying to get you to think that everything is just fine until he pull a rug or, uh, 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 from underneath your feet, man. And let your ass hit the floor, man. You know? That's that's what Esau's doing, man. He has he has a stage set, man. In Second Ezra chapter six, verse twenty-two, and it reads, "And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown." All right, because as you think everything is just fine, food, you know, every, you know, it can't, it can't happen. We're we in some very serious times with recession, inflation. Right, we're heading into the great, great depression, man. Far beyond that, what you saw in 1921, man. They call that the Great Depression. This depression is going to be the ultimate depression. Okay? I'm not going to put any names on it, but it's going to be greater than that. Right? Because it says here, And suddenly shall, shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. Why? Because... So I can, why? Because... It says here in Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 3, In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, right, this is the point, and the grinders cease before, uh, because they are few, and those that look out of the window be darkened. Because, you know, it says, you know back in the days when you heard grinding of the mill, that was a, a, a very um, successful uh, city to be in, because there is work. Right? There's work. But soon, you're going to see uh, uh, storehouses being shut down, closed up, boarded up. Right? Empty parking lots, empty buildings. Right? That's what you're about to, about to witness, man. You think, you, you know, you got your cheeseburger that, that, that cheap, that everything is just fine? Man... You, you really, you really are out of your fucking mind, man. Just like them free jump shots that he was giving you, too. Dropping you jakes. You know? Turning you all into spinners to drop dead, man. Yeah? For free, man. But anyways, it says here, And the door shall be shut in the streets, you see? So they're going to close down the shop, man. All of a sudden, these storehouses are going to be found empty and closing down, man. When the sound of the grinding is low, you see, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Which is music that's going on right now. It's already being brought low, man. Garbage ass music and shit, man. You know? You jakes, man. Better wake up, man. The Heavenly Father's about to close down everything, man. This world that you are living in is about to be done away with, man. Every kingdom had its beginning, and this kingdom is at its end, man. <coughs> and guess what, man? We ain't gonna be serving hard bondage anymore, man. You know? We're gonna be set loose, man. You're gonna be made right again. You got to come back to the Heavenly Father, man, in sincerity, man, in truth. Because the time is at hand where the Heavenly Father is about to bring great judgment upon the earth, whether you want to listen or not, man. It's not about me and what I'm saying, because these things that I'm saying is not a, uh, what I want to say according to my emotions. No, these are the words of the Heavenly Father, man. Okay? So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Double on the apostles, the others are great millstone that teach and rule well among many other things, and peace of salutations to the elect that are scattered abroad in the four winds of the earth, out there in the highways and edges, and pushing his truth and sincerity. Shalom.